A lot of people wonder, how do you become a team historian? If you don't hit the ball in Little League, you're well on your way to being a team historian. I'm Mark Langell, graduated from Cal State Northridge, class of 1988, with a degree in journalism. I'm the publications editor and the team historian for the Los Angeles Dodgers. When I was at Cal State Northridge, I knew that I was going to be on the school paper. Uh, but the very first day, Cynthia Rawich really set the tone because from day one, uh, you knew that she cared about the students, but she also had great expectations. She didn't act like it was a school newspaper. She treated us like we were pros. I remember Gary Klein, who now covers USC football for the LA Times, said, hey, you ought to call up so-and-so at the LA Times and see if you can get an internship. And I thought, well, I'm just my first semester at Northridge. It's got to be harder than that. I called up the Times, and I got a court position, just like that. The culture of the other students that had gone through the program or were going through the program, uh, very supportive of one another, but also very good as far as giving advice. I saw that the Dodgers had hired something called a public relations director and he was only 24 years old. It was the first time I had ever identified with a job. That's something that I'd like to do. I started in the front office in 1994. They didn't have a team historian before 2002. Eventually they said, you know what, you seem to know all this miscellaneous stuff. Let's call you team historian. We keep track of all the former players, and so we coordinate anniversaries, keep in touch with alumni, and anything historical relating to the franchise that goes back to the 1880s. I've had the opportunity uh, to write five books about the Dodgers. And just imagine sifting through thousands of photos, trying to put them in certain slots. And when you're working on things like that, that's fun. Uh, I've been very, very lucky to be able to do those type of projects. If anybody has been to Dodger Stadium and they look on the big screen, uh, I do have uh, 50th anniversary moments. It's kind of funny to hear uh, my voice on the stadium PA system. You know, I'll be walking down the hall and I'm like, uh-oh, they're putting it on. <laughs> the most important thing I can do is, as team historian is to help the fans appreciate the history and if it can help them either with their jobs or with their memories or their trip to Dodger Stadium, uh, that's really the role that I feel that the team historian should be. At Dodger Stadium, if people are going to interview for a job, I don't necessarily look at where they went to school or anything like that. Sometimes it's just the basics. Do they look you in the eye? You want to say, this is what I really want to do. All of my years of schooling have led to this point. In uh, 1990, I interviewed for this dream job and I finished second. And a couple years later, it opened up again and the person interviewing me said, what makes you think that you're going to want to stay here? Because we just hired somebody and they left two years later. How do we know that's not going to happen with you? And I wasn't being flippant or anything like that, but I said, if you'd hired me in the first place, you wouldn't have this problem. Don't be afraid to convey that emotion. If you really love something, then you should pursue that interest. Mm -hmm.